Okay, next we are going to do the fuhu, the drop or crouching stance. So, to get into the drop or crouching stance, what we want to do is we want to get into a natural primal squat. So, again, when we do any sort of natural squat, we want to make sure that our knees bow out and they track with our toes. Again, we do not want our knees to have any valgization where the knees cave in or bow in and misalign with our toes. If we uh, bear weight abruptly down onto our knees like this, again, this is conducive to an ACL tear and we do not want this, okay? So, when we squat, we want our knees to bow out and track with our toes, okay? Now, when we squat, okay, we also, again, want to make sure that as with any flat-footed squat for stability and strength, we want to make sure that our knees don't go over the toes. Only that they track, that they align with the toes, but not go over. Again, if we go over our toes with our knees, you're putting unnecessary pressure, stress, and weight on our knees, and this is what will uh, result in knee injuries in the long term. So again, as with any squat where we want to be hip dominant, we want to focus on the hip hinge or pulling through our hips, we want to sit our butt behind our heels. Okay, from here, step two, we want to take one leg, doesn't matter which one, and bring it all the way out straight. From here, this is the basis of the pubu, the drop or crouching stance. We want that straight leg to be completely straight or as straight as possible. If it's bent, this is not correct for form purposes. We want the leg to be completely straight and we want the foot of the straight leg to be hooked in as much as possible. So you should feel a little bit of tension in your uh, medial tendons uh, on the inside of the ankle here. If it's hooked out, again, what happens is if we try to put weight on it, what's going to result is that we have duck feet, so our feet are pointing out, and again, when we go into any wide and deep stance, if we try to squat down on both feet, we're going to be on our heels and our feet are not in a position to stabilize and our toes can't grab the floor, so we're going to fall back on our ass. Alright? So, one more time. When we squat, make sure that our knees bow out and track with our toes. Sit our butt behind our heels and bring one leg, doesn't matter which one, completely straight out and hook the foot in. This is necessary for both our uh, balance as well as application. So, how can I borrow you? This is necessary for the point of strength for, for example, a, let's rotate this way, please. For a sweep, right? For a takedown, a throw, uh, or I'm taking him down, or any sort of a trip. But we'll get into that later, okay? All right, thank you.